The show starts in five minutes. The show starts in... From Gilbert Autorama comes the excitement and competition of the famous Indianapolis Speedway, featuring the exclusive new Gilbert flyover chicane. Watch the stock cars in slow motion. Up and go. Gilbert makes cars rugged enough to take this kind of punishment. And look at the great assortment of Gilbert cars to choose from. The roughest, toughest, most realistic cars on the road. Past the timer, through the lap counter. Now with stock cars up to the Gilbert flyover chicane. Only this time, in midair, the cars change lanes. And look, just like that, your Gilbert car track can become a horse race track with these exclusive lively trotters. Get all these Indianapolis Speedway extras separately and be sure to get your complete Gilbert Autorama layout. Look at Gilbert toys first. They last. The show starts in four minutes. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me... What? Try to do something about your coffee. I hoped it would be better today. Tastes good as fresh perked, because it is. minutes away from the start of our next feature. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. Folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment mm -hmm. lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. you love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Here's the thing. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, to anywhere you like. It goes. Here's new velvet. Her hair grows, just like her cousin, beautiful Chrissy. You can make Velvet's hair short, or make it grow. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, it Blue Ribbon Bread gives you seven ounces of non-fat milk solids in every loaf. The equal of 90 quarts a year if you serve it regularly. Every sandwich you make, every snack, gives you extra milk. For wonderful flavor combined with sound food values, serve Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread in the pantry pack. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five...
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. Mm, we'll make an hamburger. announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hello, everybody. What's up? Happy Wednesday. Uh, this is not this is not Bingo sixty four. Uh, this is uh, this is going to be the Nintendo sixty four. Mighty Owl eighty six. Thank you for the twenty two months. Coco Mean. Thank you for the thirty months. Hey Ian. I don't know if it's mentioned in has been mentioned in chat before, but do you know the game Home Safety Hotline? I've played. I think it's really up your street. I don't know if I know that one. I'd have to look into it. Uh, Cal Bubba, thank you for subscribing. And Alo Veba, thank you for the three months. Happy Wednesday. How's it going out there? Clean looking blue screen. Well, I have not turned the Nintendo 64 on. I can explain. So you you got to power the system on first. Okay, I was going to read things and then turn the console on. Uh, Rowan Silverthorne, thank you for the nine months. Home Skillet Sam, thank you for the nine months. And Sprout Stuff, thank you for the 90 months. Thank you so much, Sprout Stuff, for 90 months. Okay. So I'm just going to play some N64 today. Uh, I'm starting with Star Fox because I felt like playing Star Fox. Uh, we'll see what happens. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! <laughs> Sorry, Sass Master. Yeah, apologize. <laughs> uh, no, no, I just... Uh, I just want to play some games. I was going to do another work stream. But, like, holy shit. Yesterday was no bueno. So I just want to... I just want to play some 64. I'll play for a bit. And if I feel like hopping games, I'm going to hop games. I'm just doing uh, whatever I feel like today. I don't have Wave Race, so we probably won't see Wave Race. Aqua Reaper 3, thank you for the 25 months. Sub for 25 months, that's like a quarter of a year or something. I don't pay attention. You do good work, Brutal Moose. And I thank you uh, for your evil work and also stuff. Thank you very much, Aqua Reaper. Sorry if I'm a little slow today. I'll uh, I'll get there. I don't have Hercules 64. No. I did some filming yesterday for the video, which is nice. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna blanket statement that any any N64 game is possible in the future. Uh, that is my, that's going to be my go-to statement for anyone suggesting N64 stuff today. <laughs> They're all possibilities. But right now, I'm playing Star Fox 64. <laughs> Snooze Cruise, thank you for gifting a sub to Star Fox. Bingo 64 win. Oh my god. Main game. Mmm, fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. I always loved this Upon intro. Their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Pepe were captured by Andros. Pepe barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. Dead. A few years have passed, 
Andros has again invaded tech, the lilacs. Tech Dad Tom reading my face. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Unhinged Triangle. Thank you for the $5. Hey, Moose. I've missed a few of your streams. I'm glad uh, you can join me for the last few hours of the workday. Happy 64 day. Thank you so much, Unhinged Triangle. I hope the rest of your workday goes well. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. So, like, yesterday was shit. <laughs> and then today the capture card didn't work. I had to spend an hour getting the capture card working. So, I'm gonna bounce back. We're bouncing back. I'll try to do the hard route. I think I should be fine until, uh... Time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. Until you have to shoot the spotlights down. I'm bad at the spotlights. Andros won't have his way with me. Did I yell at the capture card? I didn't. I yelled at myself, but not the capture card. <laughs> Can I name most of the planets? Our planets are like Star Fox planets. Open the wing. Uh, why was yesterday bad? It's just... It's like it's just like everything went wrong. Check your heat diffuser system. I had to. I I filmed. So when I film, it's like a, filming something's a whole to do, because I got to do lights, sound, costume, makeup, all that shit, and like every single step of the process, something went wrong. And then when I looked at the footage, I noticed like I might have to re I might have to refilm it all after all that shit. I might have to refilm it all. I see him up ahead. Let's rock it. It's fine. I, I think after I'm taking a little break and I'm hoping to uh, take a look at it later today and say, you know what? It's actually usable. It's not It's not ideal, not exactly how I wanted to look, but hoping it'll be usable. Clippy, watch out. Don't be on your tail. My, uh, <laughs> my blinds randomly or my curtain randomly fell off. Like, the bar fell out of the window and knocked over a bunch of figures. One of my Rio figures, like, he lost an arm and a head. I'm very, ups very upset about it. Anyway. Star Fox will go better. Everybody stay alert! So that's not why, why we're not doing a work stream today. I didn't want to... I wasn't ready to to look at it again. Oh, that was early. At least it didn't land on me. I'd rather it have landed on me. It should have landed on me instead of my shit. Use the brake. I can die, but my shit can't... doesn't... no braking. Ba, 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 ba. I'll take this one. Get the one behind you. I played the SNES version of Star Fox. I'm done talking about my shitty day. I don't want to talk about my shitty day anymore. <laughs> so I've uh I played the SNES Star Fox recently. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash. Oh man, I'm gonna have to Oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that. The SNES one's pretty fun. It did make me want to play the 64 one, though. I have not played Star Fox 2, no. What console game Star Fox has been on? Star Fox was, had two on SNES, one on 64. I think two on GameCube, Star Fox Assault, Star Fox Adventures... Uh, Star Fox Zero on the Wii U. Oh, Falco's dead. Rip. Uh, Mo Chicken. Thank you for the 82 months. This is an un unexpected delight. Yeah, I, I wasn't planning on doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy the random 64. 
And Snooze Cruise, thank you for the $5 and change. This is for Baby Boy Rio. Thank you very much. I'll show you. Look at my, look at my boy. <laughs> look, he's, there's his head. It's fixable. It's, I just, I just got to glue them together, but. And then I lost, uh, Bakura, my Bakura statue has these really tiny, he holds a little tiny Yu-Gi-Oh card and it's always fallen out of his hand. I was crawling around on the ground looking for it. And I stood up into a, a my microphone desk clamp, and now I've got a big ass bruise on my lower back, on which I sit, I slouch, and I sit there. That's not the end of the world. It's, it was really just like one thing after another. Anyway, I'm done talking about my shitty day. I got back on my shitty day. I'm done talking about the shitty day. Star Fox. Who's our favorite Star Fox character? Get back here! And why is it anybody but Slippy? Slippy watch out. On your tail. Blondie one. Help me. Thanks, Fox. Peppy. Peppy's a good one. I like Falco. I Fox was always my favorite, though. We're entering Corneria City now. Oh shit! Sorry, Falco. I agree. Fox is a badass. And his uh, Everybody stay alert. his last name sounds the same as mine, so it was like, oh, that's... There I am in the game. There's my... Uh, his family. The dad's, <laughs> the dad's sunglasses. Does he ever get... Uh, does James get uh, more of a presence after the after this game? Does he show up in like Assault or I don't think he shows up in Adventures. He does in F Zero. Maybe he maybe he just retires. Get the one behind. You know, he's like you know that was a lot. <laughs> what 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 just went down was a lot. Boost to use your boost to chase. I could use. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should be. Do I think this is the best Star Fox. I don't know. It's the only one I ever really got into. But I do want to try. Uh, oh fuck! I do want to try some of the other ones. I heard Star Fox Assault was pretty good. And I have Star Fox Assault, but I've never really played it. I tried to play uh, Star Fox Adventures recently-ish, but I didn't get past like the intro, the intro stage. Follow me, Fox. I will. Destiyina, thank you for the 38 months. Don't forget to roll. This one's for you. I found the target. Right. Too hard or couldn't get into it? I just couldn't get into it. I was also playing on uh, my really tiny CRT, and I remember the picture being like super dark to where I almost couldn't see it. So I just need to play on a better TV. I don't have a re my CRT didn't come with a remote, and I've tried to find the right remote for it, but I haven't found it, so I can't adjust like picture settings. Ah, someone wants to play. Incoming enemy the from aiming the on adventures oh, drove you crazy. Yeah, I, it it starts you out with a a flying mission, which I kind of wish. Enemy shield allied. I kind of wish uh, it started with a an adventuring mission. Deploy all units. Is it this one? Yeah. This guy's in uh, SNES, which I I found surprising. Who are you guys? We're Star Fox. You'll never defeat Andros. Bam, bam.
How did I know he was going to say that? I just felt it. <laughs> I just felt it. All aircraft report. You did it! I was worried for a moment. You're becoming more like your father. Stop talking about my dad, Peppy. Fine. You okay over there, Fox? <laughs> so long, gay Andros. What's a 64 game I really want to play? Hmm. Star Fox 64. <laughs> I don't know what's I don't know what's my like like one that I maybe don't own yet. Uh I don't know what's next on my N64 list. I brought a stack of games for if I want to play something else, though, if I want to change it up. Because for all I know, I'll want to change it mid- I don't know. I'm not promising to get through any of this. Help us out here. I'll do my best. I'm my oh, I'm on my way. Glover? Dude, Glover... I don't know. I don't. I, actually, I do know. I don't like Glover. I don't like the stage. Oh, fuck. Okay, this, this is going to be a problem. Lover is sick. I don't know. I just disagree. It really... I watched my boyfriend play it recently. And I uh, maybe I just expected more out of it. Somebody's going to pay for all this. Okay. So for those that don't know... The deal with this stage is that I got to get, I got to get a, I think it's a hundred kills before the final boss. And I, I'm not good at doing that. Surprise attack coming from above. Not that big of a surprise. Can you be surprise attacked in space? Hold them. They're trying to get through. Right? I mean, where they where they come from? Above? You didn't see them coming? Good God! Keep up the pace. I'll don't put pressure on me, Peppy. Stop flying the fuck in front of me. Bad. <laughs> Only way to do it, baby. Ah! Ah! Dude, yeah, the music in this game is so good. I think the menu, like the menu title screen music might be my favorite. How's the sound, by the way? Everything loud enough? Escaping? I don't think so. Okay, thank you. Hey, leave me alone. Yeah, fucking classic. He's just always like, I need help. I need help. I can't do anything. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Dude, I remember playing the 3DS port of this, and they changed his line to, hey, genius, I'm on, I'm on your side, instead of, hey, Einstein, drove me fucking nuts. It should not have bothered me as much as it did. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. But he says it so much, you can't just change the line. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's gonna be close. Looks different. I don't know how much you need at this point. You might need 90. All range mode. Why did they change that line? I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to be offensive to uh, Ein out. Einstein. Oh, 
Okay, I might be okay. I might be okay. Gee, quit moving around. Where are you at? You fucker. Gee, quit moving around. Quit moving around. I wish I could get like a. Ooh, okay, okay, could be enough. Just depends on how many points they're gonna give me for this guy. Oh man, I'm gonna have to back off. Don't body just yet. Okay, I think I did it. I don't remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't think I did it. I'm coming for you. I don't really remember. Aren't they? Rumored to be making another Star Fox for the next Switch. Jockey little freaks. Jockey little freaks. Jockey little freaks. Jockey little freaks. Jockey little freak. Star Fox Racing. Star Fox Racing would be interesting. What's wrong? Is that it? Just stop fucking moving! There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Where is this dude? Where is this dude? Yeah, I can change camera angles. You can zoom out and you can, uh... Oh, oh, you can't first person in all range mode. What's wrong? Is that it? Cocky little freak! <laughs> Cocky little freaks! Okay, I think. We're heading for we yeah, I think mission accomplished is when you do the do the thing, and mission complete is when you beat the stage but you don't do the thing. I think. Your skills have improved, Fox. Falco ship is okay, so was this one you needed a hundred kills total at the end of the stage after everything is done? Was that this uh, special condition? Angular Lemon, thank you for the prime sub. And Seismic Coin, thank you so much for the 55 months. No, this is the water one that fucking sucks. God, I hate this stage. Star Fox, I want you to take out the enemy bio weapon. Can we just fly around this planet? <laughs> Space is really big. Could we just like scooch around this one? Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. Your balls are forfeit. Thank you for the $8 and change. Don't mind me, just hootie hunting. 808's an interesting uh, guess. Not quite. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Maybe we can't fly straight to Venom because we need to, like, hit planets to refuel or something? I don't know. I'm gonna check out the bioweapon. Hate this shit.
I don't think there's anything special you can do here. I think you just have to survive. Is actually, does anyone out there, is there something special I can do in Aquas? I actually don't know. Don't remember an underwater level. I'm sending the data to you guys. Yeah, it fucking sucks. The tank level's way better. Oh, Looks like the pollution has started. Not the pollution. Is it awful? I can't see shit. Uh... Yeah, the Landmaster's a lot of fun. The train level? Great level. I need a ring. Look at that! It's beautiful! Why are we killing the animals? Because it's pollution! I guess. I don't really know. How's the blue marine, Fox? It fucking sucks, Slippy. It's a good thing you prepared, Slip. This thing will never hold together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, your favorite used to be the sun level? I didn't like the sun level. Yeah. Memorable level, though. Yeah. I would rather be on the surface of the sun than down here in the ocean right now. That's for sure. Yeah, the sun level sucks because you're always getting damaged. There we go. Uh... Yeah, does Cat show up in the sun level? That might happen. Look out behind you! Can I do anything about it? Can I, like, barrel roll? Oh, no. We've got Cat's torpedo! You're the best, Clippy! I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. We just we just took a survey of uh, who the best Star Fox character was, and I don't think anybody said Slippy. Better not die. I don't want to have to do any of this shit again. Do you know where Slippy got his name from? I'm assuming because he's he's slip he's slippery, right? He's like a slippery frog. Where do we think Fox got his name from? Any ideas? <laughs> I found the bioweapon. Oh, I'm fucked. Come on, Rob. I don't get any... Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up and let me play! Fuck! I know! Pull together! I don't want to be here. 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 Oh, what? Oh, 
Okay, at least I got his little pimples. Shut the fuck up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's the way. Yes. You did it. Fuck this stage. Uh, kind is high. Thank you so much for the seventy-two months. We're preparing to dock. Yeah, take that, nature. It was a bio weapon, okay? I don't know what. I mean, what was the problem? Is living under the ocean. Thanks a lot, Peppy. I'll take the sky any day. Sheesh, Falco. You too. No one likes your boat, Slippy. No one wants to be in the boat. I agree. Everybody bully Slippy. I agree. We need a bigger boat. Were they on the boat with me? Or were they just like watching... Uh, from the Great... What is it? The Great Fox? Is that what the main ship is called? They were talking shit remotely. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, Lupin. Yep. I'm ignoring, for a few hours, I'm ignoring that I'm working on a video at all. Affirmative, General. Good luck. Okay. Okay. What's the... Are there two ways to get through this stage? Or is it just the one? Do I have to get all of the searchlights? What's the second way besides the searchlights? Because I'm going to fuck up the searchlights. This is donuts. I can't believe they did. Fuck out of here. What a job. I hear you, Slippy. Look out for the searchlight. Searchlights are the only way. Well, I'll give it a try. Last time I played this game, this is where I quit. Because <laughs> I couldn't get all the searchlights. I was getting so pissed off. Fuck. Get this guy off. I really don't want to. I feel like you should learn how to fly your fucking plane. Well, then do something about it. Follow your father's example, Fox. Huh? We're closing in on them, Falco. Do do do. Take the right, my boy. Cat, what are you doing here? Is that any way to greet a girl? Ba 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 ba. I really wish break was Z or something. I feel like break being down C is tough. Fucking move! Whoa, These guys flying right in between me and the searchlights. Who is Cat? She's the cat. How do we think Cat got her name? Any interesting theories? Fucker! I've got 
Somebody on my tail! Fucker! Ba 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 ba. This is Zona. God, I hate I hate having the single little pathetic laser. I hear you, Flippy. Look out for the searchlight. They finally get along, talking about how this place is a dump. It's true, there is the charge shot. I probably don't charge shot enough. But it, uh... I feel like it takes forever. And then, like, what the fuck is that? No more charge shot. Fuck the charge shot. What am I using for a controller? Uh... I got this guy. Let's sneak in low and surprise him. This is my this is my 64 controller with the good stick. I can't believe they did. I I yeah, I'm playing on a, a real 64. I hear you, Flippy. This is probably gonna be if I miss one this time, I'm probably just gonna keep going. I don't really have confidence that I'll be able to do it no matter how many times I try. No, no Mad Cats. I don't have a Mad Cat 64. I have a Mad Cats GameCube. Fuck! Get this guy off me! I'm not gonna. No. This is really starting to kick me off! Yeah, well. Ah! I'm hit! Yep. Follow your father's example, Fox. Huh? Oh, I missed. We're closing in on them, Falco. Take the right now. So does Cat show up in any, any other games? What are you doing here? Is that any way to greet a girl? She's in the DS game? Fucking... See, fuck the homing shot. Fuck the homing shot. Fuck the fucking. Ah! Whoa! Watch out! God, I want. I want a laser upgrade. I've got somebody on my tail. Don't. I want to keep this workplace professional. Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck. Oh. Uh -oh. Fuck it. I'm going to Macbeth. Fuck it. Location. Fuck these... I I hate the I forgot about having to shoot the rudders. They're tough cuz depending on where you shoot them they'll either open or close. If you just shot them and they would open, I might be able to do it. How close was I? Like how many more Is that it for the searchlights? Or did they just stop showing up because I failed? Here I go. Second to last one. <sighs> Bummer. Make way for Falco is a bird. That's true. These 
these guys don't quit. I hate these guys flying in front of me and then complaining. Oh, see, there's more. There's more searchlights up here. I wasn't quite done with them. And these aren't easy. I mean, that was... They keep putting them behind the rocks. Jeez, Louise, what is that? Be careful, it might be a trap. Something's coming from the sea. Falco's good at melee. I liked playing Fox in, in Smash. Disrespectful little whelp. I am teaching some respect. Yar. Enemy shield analyzed. Gotta go this this first. Oh. Oh, do I have to bomb these? I gotta bomb them. Get fucked, matey. What am I, uh, what am I shooting at now? The bomb in the... Okay. Arr. Drop the crane. Arr. Oh, do I have to get the... Can I get the crane? Oh, I can get the crane. Fuck your crane! Shut up, Peppy. Oh, shoot. oh shit. His armor's tough. Use bomb blast. Nah, I need a bomb. Fire! Fire! Use barbed wire. Arr! Young Sango 13. Thank you very much for the 13 months. Wow, lucky 13. Thank you so much, Sango. How many 64 games I got? I don't know the exact number. If you go to brutalmoose.com slash library, uh, you can you can check it out. Looks like we're heading for Macbeth. I brought six for today. I've got I've got five others on standby for if I if I feel like game hopping. I got um, no, they're not all shooters. This is the only shooter one actually. I got Diddy Kong Racing. I got 1080 Snowboarding. I got Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Mario Kart. Those are the ones I grabbed. I don't have Gauntlet Legends. Like I don't think I own that game, but Gauntlet Legends is awesome. Uh, I'm going to take a quick pee break and get uh, a G Fuel. And I, I will be right back to continue our journey to Venom. We're missing Sector Z, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Fuck Sector Z. Founded on the rocks, but the crew all got ashore. Then fearless Fred dived in again and swam toward the wreck once more. You'll never make it! The waves are too high! But he made it back to land. I had to return to the ship. He explained. For my toddy, the chocolate drink that's just grand. Toddy does taste grand. At the snack bar or at your car. During intermission, <laughs> enjoy a toddy. The delicious chocolate drink in a can. Ice cold or steaming hot, Toddy hits the spot with everybody. See how much better that popcorn or those hot dogs taste with Toddy. Mmm, delicious.
Okay, what I miss? Ska? Who's our who's our favorite ska band? And why is it Streetlight Manifesto? The Streetlight Manifesto ska is it not? Real big fish. No one knows what ska is. Is it not just kind of like rock with a with the brass section? Streetlight needs to do another album. I used to be really into uh, Streetlight. And then... Um, uh, the acoustic covers that he did. Uh, his Choke project was also very good. And then he, he did... Uh, Bandits of the Acoustic Revolution. I thought that one was okay, too. Ooh, is Cake Ska? I've never considered... Uh, cake as Ska, but... I can see that. It's coming back? Who's, who's leading the Ska charge? I think about the Portlandia sketch where they make a bootleg... They move... Make bootleg Bart Simpson merch. And they call him Bart Scompson. That's what I think about. Cake was good live. I haven't been to a. I've never been to a concert. Oh wow! Okay, well at least we get to do the train stage. I bought the train. I'm picking it out. No, I don't think ever. I've been to like a local show before, but I don't think I've ever been to a concert concert. I think the only people I'd want to see is OK Go. But like, I don't want to, I don't want to mosh. I don't want to be around other people. Here they come. I don't want to watch people TikTok while I'm trying to listen to music. Oh, dude, Cat's ship looks so weird. Cat, not you again. But I hear that OK Go puts out a pretty cool show. Is that any way to greet a girl? I'd rather go to... I really want to go to uh, an orchestra. I'd love to see uh, an orchestra perform soon. Hey, Cliff! Bum, bum. Seattle Symphony. How's the landmaster, Bob? I really want to see uh, pictures at an exhibition at some point in my life. Fuck off! Try hovering! You try hovering. Oh, I thought they were going to bounce. I should have tried hovering. The Shrek musical. I've seen Book of Mormon. I saw that's the only uh, like professional musical I've been to. But it was very good. Shit. Dude, he's right behind me. You know what you can do, dude, when they're right behind you? Barrel roll. It's like the first thing I was told when I started the game up. Ugh. Fuck off. Come a little closer. I'm just not like a live show kind of a guy. Or a, like a leave the house kind of a guy, you know? Just wait till they start uh, selling VR tickets to live shows and I'll, they'll just put a 3D camera 
in the audience and I can pay to, to tune into that. It's like I'm there. And then if it sucks, I just turn it off. Leave the house, I can't work. That's not true. I could I could vlog a concert for a Brutal Moose video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm in the middle of this concert here. They're performing real well. And now I'm yelling about it. Fucking, oh my god, I'm gonna murder you, cat. I've got the left. You get the right, honey. Location confirmed. Where the fuck is three? Okay, okay, three, four. Fucking move! I can't see! I didn't expect to have you live. You're very lucky. Five. Okay. So we're looking, yeah, we're looking for these switches. I gotta switch all of these. Or I'm gonna have to replay the stage. And this guy's gonna try and, like, scoop me up like a little fucking asshole. Seven. Okay, I think I got them all. Step on again. Step on again. Good going, Buck. Bye bye. No, get the way. Okay, stop it. Bye bye. Smilo Bar, thank you very much for the 14 months. In it six, thank you for the eight months. Streetlight Manifesto, everything goes numb is one of my faves. Great choice. Great choice. First thing that comes to my mind is point counterpoint. But uh All aircraft report. They got a lot of good songs. I can see the look on it. Stupid no, they're all dead. They don't have faces anymore. Slippy. I'm sure we heard of pieces got blown off in the explosion. You're pretty good, Tiger. See you again. Now it's our turn to kick some tail. <laughs> <laughs> Mocking the dead. All those dead guys are so stupid, right? <laughs> Take that, commuters. Bum, 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 ba, na, 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 na. Yeah, this is how it always goes. I don't even know. I've maybe been to Sector Z once. No, I didn't beat the game. So we gotta do uh we gotta do one of these satellites here and then we can do Venom. Uh I think I should be able to get through it. It's been a while since I've I've played Star Fox 64 this this far. What's up, Chaka? It's almost over. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece, Fox. I'll do my best. We'll do, General. Oh. Good luck. You were having dinner? What was for dinner? Came in here. No problem. Yeah, we're almost done. Do you copy? Emergency maneuvers! Star Fox is like a sit down and and get all the way through in one sitting game. I don't even, I don't think you can, can you save and return to a Star Fox 64 game? I think you just, Everybody stay alert. I think you can just, you just gotta play through. You can save? I didn't think you could. 
Zio says you can't. Hey, oh. Einstein, I'm on your side. But the fun back in the day was, you know, I didn't, you didn't know how to get through all the stages, the secret routes that I've been doing. So, you know, I, I played this a bunch going the easy way until I figured out. Uh, I do have a memory pack, yeah. I'd love a rumble pack at some point. Hold still and let me shoot you. I guess you're good for something. <laughs> Hold still and let me shoot you is a pretty great, pretty great line. Great box will cover you. Third party rumble pack. Shoot him down. We're being marked. With adjustable rumble? I have not seen that. Fuck! They look like little carrots. Did we get them? Not yet, sir. They're on me. I'm getting careless. Well, you know what you can do, Peppy? Why don't you do a barrel roll? What the fuck is happening to me? There we go. Fucking hate this guy. This guy's in the, uh... In the uh, Milky Way level, the Asteroid Belt level. They've broken through the first line. Watch it, watch it. We're going to break through that fleet. Is he a lizard? Like the the bad guy of this stage? Uh, yeah, I think he is a lizard. He's like a he's like a lizard or a frog or something. Here we go. My uh, <laughs> my a tapping. Uh, hand is getting a little tired. Completely forgot that I did more than just YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Glad you could make it. The last line has been breached. These guys crazy. Deploy it now! Deploy it now! I'm live three times a week, and usually. This one's different. Crush. We were glad you're here. Happy to have you. Brutal Moose Chatters do not have a name. No nickname. No nicknaming the fan base. I don't even really like considering it a fan base. I. It's just people that are watching me do things. Oh, they came back? Oh, shit. Could've used that ring. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's working. Why not? 
I thought I was supposed to attack the middle part. Shoot the tentacles to open the core. Yeah, I know. Oh, I need that. I want that. I want that. Get the fuck out of here. I want that. Fuck off. Fuck off! Destroy all free energy balls! Shut the fuck up about balls. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. I want it. Fuck. Okay. One down. It was terrible. No, I just said it was terrible. Where's Rob? Where's my free items, Rob? Oh shit. Watch out, fuck. You're all right. No. Yes? The key to the dog shoots the core! <sighs> watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, you got a you got a 3DS for the 3DS port for Star Fox was pretty good. I mean I, I slammed it for changing a couple lines earlier, but overall. It was actually pretty fun. Yes, 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 yes. It's the only version you played? It's a solid one. It's a solid one. Oh, shit. I'm surprised Slippy doesn't just fly right into <laughs> into the middle of that. The, it's like the camera is kind of moving around. Does that make sense? Dude, pathetic. This is going to take forever. I just need my wing back. Oh! You're not leaving yet. Ugh. Let him leave. <laughs> Can I, like, drop a bomb at him while he's doing this? Should I be shooting him while he's charging up? I don't really know. Fuck! Are you okay? Not really. Hey, what's the big idea?
Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Dude, I'm taking damage! Oh. I don't know how I did not get hit there. Oh! Fuck. Fuck. I can't fucking hit it. You're not leaving yet. Boop, 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 boop. I can't hit it while it's doing this. I'll do my best to shoot the nipple for you, Cosmo. No! There we go. You did it! Thank you, thank you. Boo boo. Ba da da ba da da. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, hey, good time to, to mention that there is a second and final survey happening right now at BrutalMoose.com slash survey for Bingo XP, which will start on Monday. What is the bingo question, Chaka? We're entering Venom Airspace. Say your prayers, Andros. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you handle on. I love their, uh... Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. Their new, uh, and improved selves. Though I don't think I beat... I don't think in this path you beat them. They just come back and they're, like, fucked up. You guys don't give up. Uh, and yeah, Chaka, I think the plan is to do bingo over Mario Party, but I, you know, nothing's, nothing's concrete. Fuck. Get this guy off me. No. I am the brave Leon. This is a mess. Ah, I'm hit. Yeah. I can't see shit. I'm monkey food if I don't leave. Okay, let me go. Oh, fuck. You're not welcome here. I got two people on me. Motherfucker. I'm hit. I'm gonna bust you up real good. Real good. Dude, fuck this. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Take care of the guy behind me, Fox! That's not really what I wanted to see. Sorry, guys, I gotta sit this one out. Great. This is gonna be good. I don't have any bombs. I thought I had bombs. I'm gonna bust you up real good. Real good. Dude, they're bust busting me up real good. Now take care of you. Dude, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? <laughs> I can't even see him. Oh. 
Oh my god. What are you gonna do to me? Took a chance on a U turn, but I still don't I You can't beat me. I got a better ship. Should I just try and lock on? Is I'll that take care of you. Lock on might be my only option here. You're not welcome here. But Oof. I would like more lives for Andros. I haven't played these last two levels in quite some time. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. We'll make sure you never reach Andros. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. You guys don't give up. Just looking for anybody, anybody? I'm gonna bust you up <laughs> Are you? I'm hit! Hey! Nice aircraft, guys! <laughs> I like that everyone's just like, hey, cool ships! You bad hole, you got. I am the great Leon! Take care of the guy behind me, Fox! Dude, you all have guys behind you. I'm monkey food if I don't leave. Knock it off, Fox. Have I hit anybody? Back off. <laughs> so if I hit, if I hit anybody yet? I'm gonna bust you up. Yeah, they're saying monkey food because uh, because of Andros. Dude. Where is my help, huh? I got three people behind me. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you handle our new ships. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. We'll make sure you never retain drugs. Honestly, making you do this without any, like... About that star wolf. Oh shit, sorry Peppy. Without any like upgrades is pretty rough. Shoot! He's right behind me! Get to the pond, froggy! I can't break free! I can't. Excited to see how it ends? Well, We'll see if that happens. Here we go. Here we go. Fox, get this guy off me! I can't break free! Ah! I'm I'm monkey food if I don't leave. Uh Shoot! He's right behind me! Sure is. You're good, but I'm better. Sorry, guys, I gotta spit this one out. I'm gonna bust you up real good. I'll take care of you. <sighs> oh, man, I'm gonna have to back off. Oh, fuck. Fucking fart. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. I'm gonna bust you up. Do it. This can't be happening. I'll take care of you. Dude, once they're all on me, it's. You're not welcome here. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh, good. I got Wolf to almost half. 
Did someone else pick up my health? Where the fuck did my health go? I'll take care of you. You're good, but I'm better. Give it up! You can't win! Uh. Dude! Fucking Andrew. <laughs> Do I have a special move? I sure don't. I'll take care of you. I can fly around in circles. You're not welcome here. Take care of you. Rob! Help me, Rob! Okay, well, lock on isn't really working, so I'm just gonna like fly in circles and hope that. Hope that they kind of fly into my pan. There we go. See, I hit one of them there. Tap an amiibo. Dude, they're always barrel rolls thing. Oh, fuck. Great. Ah! Poppy Rose Witch, thank you for the two months. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you handle our new ships. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. I feel like we'll make sure you never regain run. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. I feel like at least my. Uh, my team members should start with health. I don't know why they don't start with any health. Doesn't seem. I'll take care of you. Fucking back off! You're not welcome here. Sorry, Falco. Not yet. The party's just begun. I can't break free. You're not welcome here. I should honestly try and fucking. I see you've got new. I should try and help them because when they're when they're focused on somebody else, it is like a rare chance to get an attack in. Food if I don't leave. Lock on, lock on, lock on. Oh my god. Location confirmed. Then you survive. The problem. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I gotta sit this one out. Shoot. He's right behind you. No! <sighs> don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you handle our new ships. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. We'll make sure you never regain run. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. You guys don't give up. Okay, I'm gonna try and follow team members this time. Right you're all over the place. The issue is that I'm too cocky. Hey, nice aircraft, guys. Fuck. You can't beat me. I've got a better ship. Dude, it does like no damage. I'll take care of you. I'm gonna 
What are the odds that if I fly really close to these things that I can get them to smash into them? Is that a strategy? Fucking Location confirmed. Pending supplies. Take care of the guy behind me, Fox! You're not welcome here! Uh. Come on, give me something good. Anything good. Anything. Uh. I'm gonna bust you up real good. Thank you. But I'm better. You're not welcome here. Sorry for getting quiet, but I'm fucking I am pissed off. I'm gonna bust you. Sorry, guys. I gotta pick this one out. Not yet. The party's just begun. Give it up. You can't win. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a strategy for this. Oh. Like, what the fuck is that? I'll take care of you. I'm using my brakes sometimes. The problem with... The problem with braking is that they're always right behind me and they smash into me. Now, I'm looking up strategy. I'm just I'm just trying to see if there's a It just says barrel roll. <laughs> it just says barrel roll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I read that it's impossible to beat them without hyper lasers. That can't be true. I mean, is this is the strategy to go back? You can't go back though, because it keeps it keeps spitting you back out to this map. I was like gonna say go back to a previous level. Uh. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep trying. There's not much I can do but keep trying. Oh, I didn't realize you could turn your crosshairs off. How do you get the hyper lasers? Well, you got to get those in a main stage. I don't think... That's the thing is I, I can't get any upgrades. If I could get a laser upgrade on this stage, I think I could do it. But on just a single laser, I don't know. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you handle our new ships. But, I mean, I think this is one of the reasons why it's... Dad's not here to see you fail. It's a game that uh, we'll make sure you never you're supposed to play a lot. We'll just see about that. That's why it's sh short. You guys don't give up. There we go. That's pretty good. I gotta watch out for these pillars. Sorry, slipping. I can't break free. Hey, nice aircraft, guys. I see you've got new ships. I'm really good at hitting Falco. What's taking you so 
That's what we call a skill issue. I feel like you're allowed to call it a skill issue if you've done it before. There we go. Get out of here, Slippy. Ooh, Andrew's almost Andrew's almost dead. I'll take care of you. I'm just gonna keep going in circles, looking for him. If I don't see him, I'm just gonna keep going in circles. I'll do you fast, peppy old pal. You're not welcome here. Oh my god, my Hey Einstein, I'm on your side! Don't sass me in the middle of this fight, Falco. Fucking No good, but I'm better. Fuck. I'm gonna butt. Location confirmed. That means the fight. Dude. I'll take care of you. You're not leaving yet. I'm gonna butt you up. Fuck off! You're not welcome here. Sorry, guys, I gotta sit this one out. I see you've got new shit. You're not welcome here. I thought maybe if I could keep looping into the... Just began. I'm gonna bust you up real good. I am the great Leon. Oh. Fucking fuck off. I'm gonna bust you up real good. You got uh, no! <sighs> hey Einstein, I'm on your side. Good start. <laughs> Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see how you. Well, Falco survived this time. I, that was an improvement. I feel like that one was an improvement. Dad's not here to see you fail. We'll make sure you never reach Android. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. You guys don't give up. You can't. I'm monkey food if I don't leave. Take care of the guy behind me, Fox. Shoot, he's right behind me. I feel like my right hand has too much to do. I'm tapping to shoot. I'm tapping to barrel roll. I gotta tap to break. But I'm better. I'm gonna fucking I'll take care of you. Confirm. 
being provided. I should be able to tell Falco, hey, there's a guy on me. Why well, are you going to help me out? Fucking everywhere! No! Uh. I don't think it's happening. I don't think it's happening. Too bad Dad's not here to Oh, fucking good. We'll make sure you never regain drugs. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. You guys don't give up. Not with this attitude. Yeah, it's my attitude. That's the problem. That's why I'm not winning. You're not welcome here. I can't. I'm monkey food if I don't leave. I'll do you where the fast. where the fuck is Great Fox? Great Fox should be shooting lasers. Dad, I'm hit. Not yet. The party's just begun. Is that all you got? I can't break free! Yeah, neither can I. Knock it off, Fox! Not yet. The party's just begun. I'll take care of you. Sorry, guys. I gotta strip this one out. I mean, I don't think it's a problem with the game. I'm not trying to imply that there's a problem with the game. It's just fucking hard. Games were hard. <laughs> Fuck! I'm still stuck on that, uh... Fuck. I'm stuck on Mario 3. I'm stuck on Donkey Kong Country. Shit's just hard. Yeah, this is the, uh... I mean, this and Andros is the, the end of the game, so... Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. We'll make sure you never regain drugs. The hardest in 64 game. I actually don't know. About that Star Wolf. I think uh, uh, Superman 64 was the meme answer to that for a while. You're not welcome here. Fuck. I am the great Leon. Move, Falco. Oh, my God, Falco. Dude, what... The most frustrating thing is my teammates aren't shooting at fucking anybody. They just fly around and go, Oh, they're shooting at me. Oh, someone help me. Oh. Fucking shoot at one of them. You're not welcome here. Oh, won't somebody help me? Oh, oh. Dude, when you get two on, it's like impossible. Oh. Well, I got closer than I did last time I played. So close. Yeah, we were at Venom. So I guess I guess next time I really got to make sure when I do area 6 I got to make sure that I end it with uh good lasers cuz I'm pretty sure I ended area 6 with shit lasers. Thank you so much. It was a decent try. Venom's hard. A friendly stand. Thank you for the 48 months. 4 years. 3 of those being years I still haven't sent you my fan mail box. I hope this relieves some of your worries about procrastination. <laughs> Thank you so much, Friendly Stan. Okay, I'm going to take another pee break, and then we'll play something else. We'll play a different uh, 64 game, because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> we'll, we'll play another round of Star Fox some other time. It takes, what, about two hours for me to get through a round of Star Fox? I'll be right back.
I return. Oh, wow. X Mike 20. Thank you for the 25 months. I could never beat Star Fox as a kid. I'm glad to see I'm not alone. Yeah, but I still can't do it. I'm not even a kid anymore. I can't do it. I've beat. I've definitely beaten real Andros, uh, on at least a few times. I used to. I used to do the easy route when I was a kid. I would do. Uh, I'd go here, asteroid. Uh, whatever the middle planet is, then I do the sun, and go sector X, and go up the back way. Usually, that's usually how I would go. This high score here isn't mine either. It's a friend of mine who's is, is like really good <laughs> at Star Fox. And YouTube, thank you for the six months. What do I want to play next? I want to play something that I don't have to tap because my right wrist says stop. So I will play... This here, it's about one... No 1080. I grab 1080 because I just think about work your body, we'll work your body. Work your body, we'll work your body. I'll play. Eh, fuck it. Let's. I, I, I swung by my 64 collection after I peed and I, I grabbed something, just grabbed it. No, no voting poll. This is, I just, today I'm just relaxing. I'm trying to think about what I would want to do <laughs> to have fun and relax before I got to go back to work on this video. Let's start a uh, banjo file. I've never beaten banjo. I always get a certain ways in and then I'm like, ah. Uh -huh. I've not played this on PlayStation, no. Dude, same soft crisps. I play until I get note locked and then I quit. Yeah, so uh, what we mean by note locked is that there's there's doors that you open via collecting notes. And at some point, uh, if you're not good about collecting as many notes as you can each time you're in a level, you can hit a point where you're like, well, I got to go back to all these levels and get all these notes. And like, I don't want to do that shit. Okay, which one of these... Oh my god, one of these is my boyfriend's game, but... Which one? They're all so far along. 77... Six fifty-four notes... Okay, I guess I'll do one of these two. I guess I'll do this one here, huh? No, I can't ask him. Uh, I will do this. It's fine. I'm going to erase this one. I, I, they Honestly, they might all three be his. <laughs> uh, and also, I've seen him play through this game a fuck ton already, so... Honestly, next time he, uh, 
next time he plays it, he's probably going to want to start fresh anyway. I think he was playing a Game Boy. What's a BMO? Oh. Can I use a different save module? I don't know what that means. Ding pot, ding pot, something bench. Who's the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. I like Grunty. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tooty, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find... It's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. That's not a rhyme. Do you think she's tooting right now, or...? How do you get the nickname Tootie? Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? I'm gonna fart a lot and shit my shorts. Oh, do I have a... <laughs> I should have been using this. Wake up, I want to go on an adventure too. It scared you, sorry. I forget how loud the toots are. <laughs> Come to me, my little pretty. Soon you'll be ugly. And really shitty. Those are the fart clouds coming in through the window. Does Kazooie live in the bag? Kind of looks like it. Maybe that's just where she sleeps? All right. I have not banjo kazooie in quite some time. I've watched. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sided mole. I'm Banjo, and this, here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? I fucking love Bottles. Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tooty? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. I think I'm already good enough. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. 
Mmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Uh, I love Kazooie, and I love bottles, and I love that they don't like each other. <laughs> okay, so do I have to do nothing here? Do I just skip over this? Uh... I can already do this. Can I unlock a uh, health? Uh, a honeycomb here? I can. I'll look around a bit before we head up head upstairs. You guys big banjo kazooie fans? I'm actually more interested in how many how many people have never played Banjo Kazooie. Never played. Best in 64 game. It would definitely be up there for me too. I played a little bit of Tui. Tui didn't run very well on the 64. Uh, but there are some stages in Tui that I really I really like the carnival or the yeah the carnival stage. In uh, Tui. First time you've seen it, man. Maybe it's time to go back and play all these uh, these games that were popular during the the retro game review era of which I partook. Show all the zoomies what's up. Ah, thanks, Mo. Forgot about that one. Dinosaur level in Tui. I don't remember the dinosaur level. go. Can you get my best Kazooie impression? Uh, hey, I'm Kazooie. I'm, uh, somebody get me out of this backpack. How's that? <laughs> Sim pretty accurate. <laughs> this backpack's full of bird shit. back in the house. What are the odds that they stuck one in the house? Did anyone here play ukulele? What did you... I, I remember the general internet's consensus on uh, ukulele was not good. And then I watched my boyfriend play it last year a little bit, and it was... It was... I mean, we didn't think it was very good. <laughs> Why do we got a frame picture of bottles over the... Nothing in here. All right, not ama amazing. I remember it was, uh, it was like too big. Like the stages were all so huge. And like empty, big and empty. Ah. How you felt about Tui? I feel the same way about Tui. I, it does seem at times too big. Okay, is that all of them? Is there one up at the top, maybe? Ooh. 
Ooh, ukulele killed Kickstarter for you. We've been kind of on a Mario kick over here, so I'm experiencing someone around here. A bunch of Mario games and getting to refresh my Mario opinions. Tomb Raider. How do you feel about Tomb Raider, Chaka? I've never played a Tomb Raider game. You love them? Which one's which one is the best to what's like the best Tomb Raider game? Mario Galaxy is fun. I'm watching my boyfriend play Mario Galaxy right now. Music is is pretty good. I don't know how I feel about the I don't know. I, I I need to play it, but in Galaxy, sometimes the camera doesn't seem good. Are you speedrun two together? That's fun. Let me know if you want the game audio up or down, by the way. Perfect? Okay. Camera on Galaxy is fine. Yeah, it's, it's mostly fixed, which I found interesting. It seems to be... So to guide you in a way that you're not exploring all these uh, little, like the undersides of planets and shit too much. You're like Tomb Raider 1, 4, I don't know what AOD is. I got it, I got it. The new trilogy is fine, but you missed the action mixed in with the tomb raiding. What did they what did they change in the in the reboots? Aren't the modern Tomb Raiders kind of supposed to be like uh, the Uncharted games? I quite liked Uncharted. But like how is that different than the original Tomb Raider formula? I got it, I got it. Well, this could actually be fun to keep a, a running file on. That's it, the picture's complete. Modern Tomb Raider jumped the shark. Would I like Tomb Raider? I felt like I would probably enjoy the, the new one since I liked um, Uncharted, but I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. You motherfucker. Am I gonna die to the first guy in the... Okay. Holy shit. I think I'd like the old ones. Oh, newer series is more cover shooting versus run and gun. Okay, you did do a lot of cover shooting in uh, Uncharted, so I can see that. I feel like if I were to give them a shot, I'd probably try one of the old ones first. Jinjo! Okay, I'm gonna try and get all the notes here. 
think I remember where they are. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, I've got, uh, I have a surplus of games currently, so we probably won't get to Tomb Raider anytime soon, but I'm not opposed to it down the line. Yes, there is a hundred note jiggy in each level. And I know that in the, when they ported this to 360, I'm pretty sure they changed it to where when you leave, when you leave a zone, your, your note count resets in this, which is sucks. But I think in the 360 version, they made it to where you're, you're, you keep your note count. Which I think is a pretty good change. Three sixty feels like the definitive version. I wish I could get the rare replay collection. I think that's an Xbox One game. Uh, but I feel like rare rare replay always seemed like a pretty good deal. Would I play the Metal Gear Solid games? No, I would not. What makes it definitive? Uh. I don't know. Ask, ask the people that have... I guess you did ask the people that were playing. I would be interested in what other... Are there other improvements to the 360 version besides the note thing? <laughs> Biggest difference is the note count. Oh, what did he say to me? <laughs> does he want an egg? What the fuck does he want? Doesn't seem like it's enough to describe it as definitive. It's, I will say that it's a pretty big change. If you, if you're like, what the fuck? If, uh, if you're really thorough and you're just used to collecting all of the, I don't know what the fuck he wants. Um, if you're used to just getting all 100 of the notes right away, it probably won't make a huge difference. But for someone like me, that's a huge change. Hair resolution, I guess. I would assume that the 360 version of TUI is way better because it would probably run better. God. Yes, I am playing this on a on an actual 64. Yeah, I have the I have the expansion pack for the 64. It still runs like shit. Uh Tui does. Okay, I think I need moves. Go find bottles. He, I think he's over here. Die. Oh, oh or not. You can live. Part of the reason Tui runs so bad is because of DRM. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that 64 games had DRM. I assumed it run like shit because the it was bigger. What kind of? Why were they putting? Were they worried about ROMs at the time? Were emulators happening at the time? 
Because I, I know that... I know that they did region locking through, like, physical... The way they the cartridges were made. I'm aware of that. I didn't know that the games themselves... There were mod cartridges towards the end of the N64 lifespan. Interesting. Oh, fuck. Tui ran fine for you on 64? When was the last time you've uh, uh, tried it? Because, I mean, it runs, but, like, the it just chugs. It's the same reason I tried I tried to play... I've got Conker's Bad Fur Day on the 64, and, and that one is another one that just, like, chugs. <laughs> Big issue was ROM dumping onto other carts. That's so cool. I had no idea that that was going on on the 64. Yeah, how much is Conker going for right now? Let me see. Conker's bad for a day. 150? 150? About 100 loose. I see one for 120. There's a lot of listings for it, though. Pisses me off when I see, like, a ton of listings for something that's all ridiculously priced. Just lower it. Yeah, I, I actually expect it to be a little higher. That seems like kind of where it was way back when. I was trying to figure out what game I have that's the most expensive. I think it could be Illbleed. I think Illbleed might still be my, uh... I don't know about rarest, but most expensive. No, I don't. I think even Dot Hack. I think Dot Hack was is around like two hundred, right? I think Ill Bleed's around four. Yeah, I have Mo sent me Dot Hack four, so I I do have Dot Hack four now. Which, that would be an interesting stream. Uh, maybe in a decade I'll do a dot .hack stream. I'll look up Illbleed here in a second. Do you guys have, a, like, a prized, rare game? I'll probably play GU, yeah. I need to get through the main game first. Not a collector. I mean, that's a... Not being a collector is a uh, sound financial decision, I think. Mario Sunshine. How much is Mario Sunshine going for? Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of the Pokemon games, the older Pokemon games, have are kind of expensive. Oh, Klonoa. I wish I still had Klonoa too. Jinjo. Okay. Mario Sunshine 43? Damn. I'm pretty sure I've got a Mario Sunshine. Let me look up Illbleed real quick. Oh my god, thank you guys for hanging out and watch me play 64 today. I feel much more relaxed than I did yesterday. <laughs> Illbleed. Oh, well, I don't know. Illbleed is listed for 107 here. Oh, wait, no, this is from Japan. That is not a U.S. copy. Illbleed... Ooh, yeah, see, I see, I see it'll bleed a U.S. copy for 350 or best offer. 365 complete? 
five hundred dollars sealed. Six hundred sealed. Yeah. I didn't even beat it after all that. <laughs> after all the hubbub. Oh, you sold your copy for twenty. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the ROM is free, it's true. I just, honestly, I hate seeing games just sit on eBay for ridiculous prices. Because I know I don't play all the games that I buy, but I, I buy them with the intent to play. I, I hope to play everything that I own at least once in my life but it sucks just seeing games just fucking sit there and someone would probably pay a reasonable pr reasonable price for it and play it yeah I agree Chaka Dis disconnect in supply and demand they're like it's like people started treating it like the stock market Instead of just getting games they thought were cool. I should have bought way more. Back when I was doing conventions and I, I would go to like Portland Retro back in the day, I should have bought, I was very conservative with what I would spend uh, back then, but I should have been buying way more. Yeah. Money making device. It's like that's problem with just the thrift market in general. Do PC games hold value? I don't think as much now. I'm sure there's expensive PC games, but uh I, I find the console market to be way more bloated. Specifically, Nintendo shit seems really expensive. Yeah, maybe some old big box stuff. But nobody can, like, play. The problem with those is nobody can play. Unless you want to buy a, a Windows computer or, or do a... Come on. A virtual machine? I don't think people are picking them up because they can't run them. I would be interested to know, like, what's the most expensive... Like, what's the most expensive PC game? What's coveted there? Game collecting in PAL is cheaper. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just get a PAL console. <laughs> and just for some cheap game prices. Complete inbox. Let's see. Complete inbox Half-Life. Complete inbox Half-Life for PC. You can get it uh, for $33. Or best offer. Half-Life Counter-Strike Complete inbox $10. Half-Life Platinum Collection. Five disc Complete inbox Sixty dollars. Sixty seventy. Diablo one, I'll look real quick. So many of these games got re-releases too, like there'd be like collector's edition, DLC edition, whatever. Complete inbox sealed Diablo one says two hundred dollars, but that seems Overkill. Complete in case for 13 bucks. So as long as you're not getting the big box, you can get it for like $13. V2 Roots, thank you for the three months. Rule of Rose is mine. I'm going to look that one up too. And Goof420, thank you for the prime sub. Rule of Rose PS2. Oh, shit. There we go. Rule of Rose PS2, $400. Oh, shit. Yeah, $400, $600. What the fuck is Rule of Rose? Why is it so expensive? I've never heard of this. 
It looks good. Would I like Rule of Rose? <laughs> Do I need to buy a, a 500? It sucked? Okay. Talk me out of it. Talk me out of it. Say I wouldn't like it. I need more of the uh, tokens. Do I like Resident Evil? Probably not. I haven't played it. I love this song. The story is what you play for. I mean, I like that. You know, you know, I like my uh, wacky stories. I'll look. I can look up some more games after I uh, finish this level. I want to get going on this. Oh shit! Shit! I gotta go back up there. What's the story of Banjo? Uh, there's an evil witch named Gruntilda who has kidnapped our sister because uh, she's apparently just like so hot. So she's going to try and uh, drain the hotness from my sister so she can be hot. Oh, fuck. And we got to like stop that. We got to stop our sister from becoming ugly is really the main... Chibi Robo. I hear a lot of Chibi Robo. I don't know that I would like Chibi Robo. Interesting, Shaka. I didn't know. I, I've, like I said, I've never heard of the game, so. Oh, come on. There we go. Can I beat this guy? I should stop. I should stop. <laughs> Do I just keep hitting him in the butt? Excuse me. Oh yeah, what's everybody's favorite 64 game? That's a good question. Ooh, what is my favorite 64 game? I don't know what this monkey wants. Conquer's bad fur day. I wish I could talk to the monkey again, because I don't... Last core. I, I have that one now, but I've never played it. I mean, back in the day, it might have been Star Fox or Mario Party 2. Oh, he asked for an orange? Okay. Here, I'll see if... He doesn't want to throw the orange all the way out there. Oh, oh. Mario Golf is fun. I loved Mario Tennis. I really like uh, Mario Tennis. Chimpy like Conga's orange. Chimpy help fat bear and bird. Dude, Banjo doesn't even have, like, a belly. <laughs> Mario Tennis is really good. And I agree, it's my favorite Mario Tennis as well. Though I liked, um, the Game Boy one, where it was kind of like an RPG. That was a good Mario Tennis. <laughs> Ancient ways of the egg. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot 
an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press the bottom C button instead and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. <laughs> Bird brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim. Okay. Thank you very much. Gex. Is Gex... I, I used to rent Gex from Blockbuster. Is Gex good? Like, I know the theming is pretty good, but is it is it, like, fun to play? How's the platforming on Gex. Not really. Passable. I mean, it's... A lot of the platformers back then were... Lisa, I can put up with a little jank. It's just crazy we were doing all this platforming without a second joystick without like a dedicated camera control <laughs> the best gecko game we have okay that I, that's probably tracks hey I feel like I had the. I feel like I had the Game Boy one as well, the Game Boy Gex. Okay, so seven. I've got to get the note one would be eight. I've got to get the one in the ant hell is nine. Oh, and I got to get the Jinjo one. Jinjo one would be ten. They're remastering Gex? Interesting. Do I have? Okay, I've got enough. There's demand for it, is there? Oh, wait. What? Why was that just sitting there? Oh yeah, what if they what if they do an update to Gex and they redo all his lines and he's talking about like what's going on on TikTok or uh, the Barbie movie? Marvel, he's got a lot of, a lot of like mar quips about the Marvel universe. <laughs> There you go. See you, Lucario. Not a problem. I realized we had been uh, playing a lot of Mario Party, but not a lot of other 64 games. And I do, I do quite like the 64. I love this song. This one's so good. Ah, oh, shit. Mmm, what a hamburger. Oh. This has been a nice relaxing change of pace from Star Fox. Come on. Based on an older version of Mumbo's Mountain theme. Isn't the, um... Shit. Isn't the music based on the... 
the is it the bears go into the woods song? What the fuck is that song? Teddy bear picnic. That's what it is. Yeah, Kazooie's still there. She's still in the backpack, but she is also a termite now. <sighs> Tough life being a termite. You'd think I would just crawl up the side of the wall, but... There we go. Oh, fuck. I hit the top. I hit the top of the... That metal grate. Termites don't have eyes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> this is a scientifically accurate termite depiction. Termites have uh, eyes that are like half the size of their heads, actually. Okay. Let's try like lower. Jump up. Oh, come on. At least I have this nice theremin music to... Come on, dude. Jump. He's a little late on the jump. Why do some folks use retro when they stream old games instead of using the actual category? Uh, I like streaming to retro because, uh, like today, I'm hopping around. I was playing Star Fox earlier. Um, and then a lot of the time, I'll be playing uh, games that don't really have an active category. Oh, shit. Uh, so that's why. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just saying that's why I... I do it. I could swap categories, but I also don't really give a shit. <laughs> I don't really care. Like when I'm there's no uh there's no active category for Diamond Roseman Valley mystery, you know? Yeah, Ian's lazy. That's fine, fine. I also think it implies that I'm a, a, a variety streamer that focuses on retro games. I don't really stick to just one. I'm not like a Sims 2 streamer specifically. Uh, that's, that's why. How would you, how would, uh, how would you want the, oh, fucker. How would you want the retro category used? Like, if if everyone just uses the the name to the game, what's the point of having a retro category at all? <sighs> Corner the market on Sims 2 streaming? I think I would go crazy. I have to, I gotta hop around. There we go. Oh. Come on. Oh, is a guy still here? I was in, I was I was genuinely curious as to uh, how he would want the retro stream category to be used. Oh, I should have jumped down. I shouldn't have jumped up. Here we go. 
Curious to hear my explanation. Always wondered about it. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, I mean, I'm sure everyone's got their own, you know, everyone does it their own way. But I think you could probably largely att attribute it to laziness. <laughs> I think that would be fair. Or like today, I didn't 100% know. I knew I was going to play some Star Fox, but I didn't know where I would head next. There we go. There's a lot of stuff on Twitch that I don't uh, use or, or do. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna be careful. Uh, no, I've not played Blast Cor Corpse. Blast Corpse? Blast Core? Corpse? Blast Crops? I do have it now, though. I just, uh, I have not played it quite yet. Mo, did you send that one in? I think Mo might have sent, uh, Blast Corpse in. Rescue! Thank you for the four months! Hi, Ian, chat, and VOD watchers! I hope you all have a lovely day! Uh, Alex Heights, thank you for the prime sub. And IDK1227, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you should definitely uh, emulate Banjo. Yeah, especially if you liked DK and Conquer. How do we feel about... Like, DK versus... Like, which... How do we feel about Donkey Kong 64, just, like, in general? It's, like, too big for me. It's too... You love DK64? Yeah, backtracking. Neat but bloated, yeah. Favorite N64 game? There's a lot of things I really like about it, but it's just too much for me. DK rap. I like to like watch it being played. I enjoy watching DK uh, played. Maybe I would enjoy. Uh, maybe I would. I would enjoy like trading off with somebody. Like if we went uh, banana banana. Oh, did I get all the Jinjos? Oh, that must have been why this one was sitting here. I must have got all the Jinjos and didn't realize it. Okay. Well, that's... That's a wrap on this level. Relatively painless, aside from the termite platforming. I got a hundred notes. Okay, good. <laughs> Just fucking making sure. Ooh. You watched a YouTube channel where each player played a specific Kong. That's kind of a cool idea. Okay, so next one is the beach. I think I'll call it on Banjo for now. I'll probably play a different game for the time being. But we got one world done. So next time I boot up Banjo, we'll... Uh, what's, the, what's the beach? Something lagoon? Uh... I'll just save it quick. Oh, Treasure Trove Cove. I'm thinking of... I don't know what I... I'm thinking of... Yeah, I'm thinking of Goo Lagoon. <laughs> SpongeBob. Yeah, I'll play some more. I'll, I'll try and uh, pepper some Banjo-Kazooie in occasionally. I've got the... You know, because of Mario Party, I've got the 64 just ready to go. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, see, this is what we're trying to prevent. I love her voice when she's sexy. It's like, it's not that bad. It's, you know, nobody died. You'll be fine. Okay, one more for the day. What do I want to play for a little bit longer? That yeah, every time you save and quit without beating the game, you have to watch the uh the game over. Hmm. I'll do a... I'll let you guys vote my fate just a little bit. I got two games that I would play. All right, you guys want to play Mario Kart 64 or Mario Golf? Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm glad that I chilled with some 64. I'm going to be able to do some video work later today and not be so upset. Okay, so we'll play some Mario Golf. I don't think I've unlocked anything in Mario Golf, so maybe I could Wonderful. I don't even think I have Luigi. Oh, I forgot about the random people. It's Plum, everyone's favorite Mario character. It's Plum. You guys don't know Plum? It's a golf ball, dude. Oh, it's Yoshi's golf ball. Uh -oh. Did Yoshi just say four? Oh no, it's baby Mario. Fuck baby Mario. Why don't you grow up already? <laughs> I don't actually remember this cutscene. I don't think I ever watched it. I always skipped it. You fucking suck, Luigi! Get good! You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Okay. Oh, I do have Luigi. Plum and Charlie. Here I am. Oh my god, I love his little dance. <laughs> oh man he's going for it okay uh i'll just go ahead and do a tournament let's just see uh let's just see how i do looks like i have not gotten any of the coins on shy guy international Why are the flags dogs? The flags have little dogs on them. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to do this shit. Great. Good start. Good start. Oh, am I not having to watch anybody else? Ooh. A KV. Thank you for the prime sub. play Ribbit King? I don't know what Ribbit King is. Uh. Rolf? Frolf. Weird ass golf game on GameCube. Frolf. Oh. Well, uh, uh, really descriptive. I definitely know exactly what this game is now. It's Frolf. Uh, can I get like a... Okay. Oh! I have played golf IRL. I used to play a decent amount of golf growing up, actually. I still have some clubs, but I haven't been in a long time. I liked playing golf because my, uh, my friends were all really athletic, and they liked to play uh, different sports. And golf was the only one that, when we would go play it, I had any type of chance of winning. So I liked when we went, <laughs> when we went golfing. I mean, I liked to play video games, too. So did they. But uh, they liked, you know, we were, we were always playing, like, basketball and soccer and shit. I hated it. But then after that, we would go over to someone's house and play games. So, you know. Uh, I'm gonna put here. Too hard. Oh shit. Great. I really want to go to Top Golf. I've never been to Top Golf. It seems like it'd be a lot of fun. better super fun yeah how expensive is a uh, is a visit to top golf assuming you're gonna play some golf and maybe eat a little bit of food Mamma mia. top golf is best part of golfing see i still think i i would miss getting to get the ball into the hole but it would still be fun it seems like a fun place to take people that you know want to like whack a golf ball but don't actually want to play golf or are too shitty to go on a golf course. Uh, it does seem like a lot of fun. And I'm saying that as someone who is too shitty to go on a golf course. I mean, I haven't played golf in so long. First, you've heard of Top Golf. Top Golf is a. Uh, it's like a fa it's a fancy driving range. It's like if driving ranges and, like, bowling lanes had a baby, as I understand it. I've still never been, but... Am I going to hit a cactus if I do this?
Ooh. You can mini golf. Mini golf is pretty fun. I guess you could go do top golf and then top it off with a trip to mini golf, and you'd basically, you know, you'd basically have the whole experience. Just like always in the rough. Come on, Luigi. I have a feeling I'm not going to place in this tournament. So close. Dude, I'm not anywhere. Yeah, not anywhere close. Tennis? I played some tennis. I took tennis lessons. I played some tennis. Tennis is hard. I never really got... the. I never gained the ability to hit the tennis ball where I wanted it to go. It's tough. Oh, beautiful. Oh, too bad. Great. Badman is great if you're like you and you like tennis but out of shape. What about pickleball? Anybody, any, any picklers out there? You guys don't know pickleball? Pickleball's, uh, fairly popular these days. I've never played it. it it's like, it looks like tennis like shrunk down to just like the front half of the court. And I'm assuming the ball, like the racket must be made of something to where you can whack it and it doesn't go super hard or, or far or something. But it's just, uh, it's just like another net tennis game that's supposed to be good for, uh, oh, uh, old people, but also, also for, for young people. It's like ping pong on tennis court with a wiffle ball. Okay, so it's like tennis but with a wiffle ball, so you can't really hit you can't really hit it anywhere. Oh fuck. Mamma mia. Mamma mia is right. It's called Pickleball because the guy who invented it had a dog named Pickle who would fetch the ball for him. I'm pretty sure it was, it was invented up uh, here, too. I'm pretty sure it's a Washington State thing, kind of uh, uh, originated around here, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go. No! I liked playing Foursquare in PE. Foursquare was intense. Tough lot. Big base? I don't know big base. You might have to des describe the rules. I might have played it but uh, called it something else. Is balloon volleyball just what it sounds like? 
We used to play dodgeball with volleyballs until uh, someone got it in the nose and was bleeding all over the place, and they were like, no more. No more of that. Shit. Played with the bouncy red balls. We didn't have... We had... Uh, we had, like, these squishy uh, balls. We didn't have the the typical rubber uh, dodgeballs, and they fucking sucked. You couldn't throw them at all. And so even, like, the, the kid that got hit in the face and was bleeding everywhere, he was like, don't, you know, don't take away the balls. It's, it's, it was my fault. Don't take away the balls. We don't want to go play with the shitty dodgeballs. But we still had to play with the shitty. Yeah, they were like foam. You couldn't like throw it across the gym. It would just lose steam. The foam ones were all you knew. Yeah, I mean, we used them in uh, elementary school. Which I guess maybe makes sense, but then when you're playing high school dodgeball, you don't want to play with shitty foam balls. Oh my god, skip it? I loved my skip it. You hated PE? I loved PE. I didn't like, uh... I didn't like when they when they changed it to athletics, and just w would make us just run all the time. It was like, okay, time for a time. It's time to run a mile. Okay, great. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a blast. Okay, there we go. Now we didn't have to pass a pacer test. We didn't do any uh, like fitness tests that I remember. Okay, I'm gonna overshoot this. Oh, baby! Finally. What was the pacer test? What'd you have to? No, no, I never had to climb a rope in PE, ever. The closest thing we got to doing that was when we had to do... Uh, there was a semester where we did weights, and we had to go, like, lift weights. I didn't like that. Go back and forth, faster and faster, basically until you die whenever it beeps. Interesting. I mean, we, we used to run uh, suicides which was where you would start at one end of the gym and run to, like, the free throw line and back, three-point three line and back, mid-court, back, three-point line, back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they called it suicides, yeah. Awful. Just terrible. It seemed like a an easy class to teach though I could teach that class yeah go go out there and run around kids I'll be sitting over here they call them unalives now go run your unalives kids Your toaster tubs. I have not heard toaster tubs before. Uh, that's pretty great. Oh, come on! What do you mean, hmm? That was great! Oh, I'm so far down here.
You did suicides. I got third fastest in my senior class and then exploded into a puke bomb at the finish and went home. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> that's exciting. I would just try and not be the the last guy to finish the... We would run down this road and back. And I think it was supposed to be about a mile total. And I was always just trying to not be the last guy. I could be second to last guy. That's fine. Yeah, we did have gym lockers and had to change. Oh, too bad. Locker room was fucking chaos, dude. There was no, like... It was an open air, like, the ceiling was open, and so you could throw shit over the top of the line of lockers. And so, changing for PE just ended up, oh my god, it was just shit flying everywhere. Come on. I have not golfed in real life in a long time, no. I don't hate it, though. What up, Eric? Locker room was prime getting picked on area. Yeah, that's where I picked on people the most was in the locker room. That was my favorite place to bully. <laughs> was the locker room. <laughs> No, I was just trying to get out of there as fast as possible so I didn't get hit in the head with something. Yeah, now I pick on people at work. Yeah. Now I just stream. When I feel like bullying anybody, now I just turn on my stream. <laughs> Did I get bullied at school? I wouldn't say so, no. There was a guy in the, the grade above me uh, who had a locker above me once, and he was like a huge dick, but I don't think it was exclusive to me. Bum, bum, bum. Favorite lunch at school? I never did. I didn't really eat... Uh, I didn't eat the school lunches. I always just had a sandwich in, like, a brown paper bag. A nice PB&J, perhaps. It's very Dutch. Is that a thing? Nice on. Do the Dutch like PB and J in a brown paper bag? Birdie putt. Yeah, the fuck right. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. This is a birdie putt. I'm gonna overshoot this. This is going in the rough. too hard. Yeah, there it goes. Sammy Buzzman. Thank you for the 17 months. Just hopping in after watching the fishing stream. Have you ever mined stars in Osers? It's an insane AFK method for mining. I think you would enjoy it. No, I have not mined stars. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Okay, okay. Oh, baby! Hmm. Dude, I'm still like last place, but uh, I was, I'm happy with that putt. 
half turn. Wait, I'm only halfway done. Oh my god. Where's Star Wolf when I need him to come shoot me in the face? some suicides. I mean, that would benefit me. <laughs> would, uh, I should move more. Where's this going? What the fuck is that? The wind is in... Oh, it's the 12. I gotcha. The wind is nuts. Do we have something I'd rather be doing? Uh, well, I need to be working. I should be working, but I'm also kind of avoiding it. Okay, so now the wind. Okay. Am I getting paid for this? Yes, I am getting paid for this, but not enough to not work on my videos. <laughs> Fuck. Forced to golf forever. Okay. Great. Just tap it in. I read that, uh... Not Happy Gilmore, but I think Billy Madison is getting a sequel or something. I feel like I just read that Adam Sandler is doing a sequel to one of those for Netflix. Which sounds, I mean, about how it sounds. Let me look up which one it was. Why? For, uh, for money. Oh, it is Happy Gilmore? I guess that makes sense. I guess it might be a little challenging to do a... Uh, Billy Madison sequel. Adam Sandler fuels Happy Gilmore 2 rumors. 10 ways Adam Sandler's Happy Gilmore 2 sequel could actually work. Fans demand it. Do they? Do the fans demand it? Which fan? <laughs> which... which could we point out one fan that was demanding it? Adam Sandler. <laughs> baseball fan? I used to watch more baseball. I haven't kept up with it in a while. I should, because the Mariners are better than they used to be. Anyone watch those late sequels? I think the last sequel like that I watched was Anchorman 2. I, I didn't see... Uh, oh, I almost called it Zaboomafoo. I didn't see Zoolander 2. I didn't see Zaboomafoo 2 either. I don't know if that one got a sequel. CJ Coma, thank you for the bits. Here's some money to keep you with us a little longer. Thank you very much. I'm just going to finish out this uh, this tournament. Too hard? Ooh, not hard enough. Oh. Bogey. Sequel to this stream on Netflix. Hey, if Netflix wants to make a sequel to this stream, they want to produce that. I'm down. Pitch it. I go to Netflix and be like, okay, so I did this stream where I played three different N64 games. 
and the fans demand another. But I need money first. Nice shot. There we go. Oh. Who would pay me Netflix? I'm pitching this to Netflix. I mean, I would take Hulu money too, but this is a uh, this is a specifically an idea for uh, Netflix. Nice birdie. Yeah. All right. What would the sequel be about? Well, we'd we'd give Star Fox 64 another try. We'd play another uh, level in Banjo Kazooie, and then we'd do another Mario Golf tournament. It'd be exactly the same, but uh, slightly different, like all good sequels are. Because you want you want your audience to be like, oh yeah, I remember that from the good from that first movie. I remember that, or from the first stream. Oh, yeah, I remember when that happened. Hmm. Is that going in the dirt? Fuck you, Toad. Why is Toad so happy that I hit it out of bounds? Chris Pratt. Wait, is Chris Pratt playing me in this reboot? Or a sequel? Chris Pratt is, Pratt is playing MJ. Now, MJ needs to be voiced by uh, Charlie Day or something. Jack, Jack Black. Too hard. Too hard. Mama mia. Shit's tough, dude. Golf is tough. It's like you gotta... Get the ball in the hole, you know? No wind. No wind at all. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. The grid is not... I forget that the grid... It's supposed to account for, like, roll as well, I think. So I'm too I'm too attached to the grid. There we go. I wish you could adjust where you want to hit the ball before you started your swing. Oh. Mamma mia. Ooh, it'd be awesome if this game had a story mode. I agree. Have I seen Atari Golf? I don't think so. The stories that I went golfing. Yeah, see, that's not great. I'll play. Did I'll play Diddy Kong Racing again sometime. If I play Diddy Kong Racing again, I might just want to sit down and try and do it all in one in one go. Oh, come on. 
Nice approach. Because Diddy Kong Racing is not that hard. That was too hard. Bogey. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Diddy Kong Racing gets a little brutal in story two with the coin levels. I like the coin levels. Is that, uh, do you do that before you go to space or after you go to space? Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, I, I like flying too. The planes are definitely the best uh, vehicles in Diddy Kong. Story 2, just story mode with reverse courses and rubber band AI. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I haven't played that. I don't know that I've done Story 2. Do you unlock anything for doing Story 2? Lego Racers? I considered Lego Racers for today, actually. See ya, Cal. I haven't played Lego Racers in so long, but I used to quite often. Dude, the camera sucks. The putting camera sucks. I didn't get to see any of that. You unlock the mirror levels for multiplayer? Okay. That's not super worth it for me. I haven't played Lego Chess, but I do have a copy uh, as of recently. Okay, I am not going to that island. Fuck the island. I'm just going to try and stay on the fairway. I'll be happy. I've used a few power shots, not a not a ton. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference. I usually only use them on uh, drives. Like this is gonna be just a shit show. Lego Ico? What is Lego? I have not played Lego Ico. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh too bad. Oh loco. Okay. Sorry though, the L in Lego was capitalized and not in loco. I got a little uh Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. This is gonna go well. Oh great. Ico, like the, the PS2 game, Ico. Nice shot. Fuck. Oh, too bad. This one kind of sounds like that uh, Christmas song. Oh, world, bum, 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 bum. Hello? Is it Feed the World? Is that the song? Feed the World. Do they know it's Christmas time? Great song. I love it. It's very uplifting. Makes me feel very Christmassy. I don't know if I have uh, Lego Lego Lo Lego Loco. I don't know if I have that one. Uh, 
Why don't we have Easter songs? We've got the we've got the Dream Bunny song. Mamma mia. You do if you're religious? I feel like I mean I grew up in a religious household. I don't remember any specific Easter songs. Boom! Fucking finally. Here comes Peter Cottontail, yeah. Hopping down the buddy bunny trail. So there's the one. the fuck is a bunny trail? Are there trails that only bunnies use? Is that a thing? It's where bunnies run. Little trails in the bushes. Okay. Bunny trail is a biking thing. Come on, Luigi. <sighs> Bogey. Can I review the Ten Commandments? I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass on that one. Great round, go. Yeah, great round. Good job. 30th place. That's worth 17 course points. Great. The movie, not the actual commandments. Oh, you don't want me to, like, do a tier list of the best commandments? <laughs> I still think I'll pass. Well, that was Mario Golf. Dead. It's hard. <laughs> I'm not I'm not good. I feel like there's some golf games I'm good at. Uh, apparently, I'm not good at... Uh, I, th I think I maybe just need to get used to... Uh, the mechanics. I've been playing uh, Tower Unite golf, so all all my golf strategies are Tower Unite mini golf strategy. Ooh, everybody's golf. Everybody's golf is really good. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out and watching me play some 64. I'll, I will consider a variety 64 stream in the future. It's kind of fun to hop between different games instead of playing the same thing all day uh, I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then get to work on video stuff I will be back on Friday for Friday Night Mario Party and then Bingo XP begins next Monday be sure if you haven't already to visit brutalmoose.com slash survey uh, to vote in a survey for Bingo XP and uh, yeah that's what I got thanks again for hanging out Thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll we'll play some more 64 down the line. It's I like maybe hopping in, doing a level of banjo, hopping in somewhere else, doing a round. It's it's a good hop around, like Peter Cottontail would do. Uh, it's a good good. Uh, okay, I need to eat some food. <laughs> I need to eat some food. Okay, bye bye everybody. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye bye. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.